Welcome to the first episode of What Would My Ex Say? I will put out a disclaimer just before we get started. Um, And the disclaimer is that I am not an expert on relationships. I'm not a therapist. I'm just regular old me. And we are here to explore and reflect on how we choose people to bring into our lives. Now, that's out the way. Let's get into it. Have you ever been compatible with someone who became an ex? You know, better off as friends instead of lovers. For some reason, the ex gives better advice that you never really asked for when you know, when you guys aren't together anymore. In healthy breakups, this situation may work. You'll break up amicably and probably still remain friends, you know, close friends if it was a, you know, mutual breakup. So let's explore some of our favorite couples and then ask, what would my ex say? I won't mention the people's names, but you will... But I'll describe the situation. I'll describe their dating situation. And then you guys, just uh, if you could leave a, your reply in the comments to see if you can guess who I'm talking about. So first, let's talk about um, the different, uh, I want to say, I'm going to call them dating categories or couples categories. So you probably may have heard of some of them. So first we have the good girl and that the good girl with the bad boy. The unstable girl with the good with the good guy. The playboy and whoever he want he or she want to be with. And then the married couple in the side pieces. Now today's episode is going to focus on the married person and their side piece. So, I'm going to describe the scenario. I'm going to yeah, describe the couple. And, you know, you let me know what you, who do you think it is. So, this couple, they met in the early 90s. And um, they later in, the later, in the late 90s, they got married. They had a couple of kids. Everybody loved them. They are famous. Um, but let me tell you, so back in the nineties, everybody was just like, okay, that's relationship goals. That was, you know, I don't even think that hashtags was popular back then, but that's, you know, what this couple represented. Everybody, you know, they, they were just positive in everything that they did and, you know, no problems. So they were, you know, really liked by everybody. Then, you know, some rumors started to fly around that there was some cheating involved and that they had an open marriage. Can you guess who I'm talking about now? That that last part should have told you who I'm talking about. But, um, you know, if you do know who I'm talking about, leave a comment in the description. You know, leave a comment down below with your answer. And uh, I'll let you know if you are correct. But um, so now, um, you know, most people don't talk about their their relationships out here in these streets, you know, be it dating streets, relationship streets, marriage streets. They don't talk about their they business. And so for a long time, this couple, they no matter how bad the rumors were getting about the, the cheating, they never really confirmed or denied these you know these rumors back at that time so you know they just left it for everybody to assume and you know all that kind of stuff so that was you know part of their thing but then guess what the rumor never went away and the you know more the more people that became involved with them on a more like personal level you know people started to like really talk so you know that saying, um, you know, what is done in the dark comes to light? Well, the light was shining bright like a diamond, like Miss Riri say. Uh, you know, her song, uh, Diamond. And yeah, so there, this, 
now the rumor is getting real big and it's it's shining bright so everybody know what's happening now so once their secret was out that's when we got the entanglement now you should definitely know who i'm talking about now because that word became very popular and trending and um you know that's that's what they became known for unfortunately so um and so in that situation the husband found out that you know wifey was having relations with one of her son's friends and he was a much younger friend and you know that was that was that was real interesting there so um you know, we now, you know, we can't really judge them because we don't know what was happening in that house, um, you know, to make this situation possible. But obviously there were some things happening around the house, um, you know, that that can cause certain things like this to happen. Now, me personally, if that if this was me, if this was my situation, um, I sure enough would have had a divorce attorney on speed dial. Um, I'd have been like, look, dude, I, um, you know, I, I, I need you, I need your help. I need to get a divorce because, you know, m my wife is out here being unfaithful and everybody know it now. So, but there are also some people who are out there that will try to stay in the marriage and they will try to work it out. And, you know, they think they could get past it, especially if you have kids. So I believe like around when this time that their situation happened that um they do have some older kids and i'm going to say that the, the daughter was she probably was still a teenager but um but you know needless to say they are still together and they you know they did a lot of damage control and um like i said we don't know what was happening in that house but <laughs> let's talk about um, you know, some takeaways that we could get from this situation. So before I discuss the takeaways, um, pretty much what happened was that once everybody found out about the entanglement, you know, they did try to do some damage control, like I said, and, you know, they were going on talk, you know, they only, I think they went on her show. She does have a show. I'm not going to say the name of it, but you know, you know what it is. You know what it's called. And, you know, they discussed it in an open forum. And I think that was like the worst thing that he could have done. But again, we don't know how they wanted to handle that situation, really. But I, for me personally, I don't think that was the best way to do it. But because it just really embarrassed the heck out of him. I mean, like that man was on there crying and he you could tell he was really hurt by the, the situation. And but that 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 was them. So uh, I would say three takeaways uh, <laughs> that we can get from this relationship is that one communication is key in any relationship. You have to be talking to your significant other, your partner. You have to be talking about everything, because if you don't talk about nothing and then something happens, then, you know, the argument could come up like, oh, we never discussed it. So, or it'll be, I never knew that you like to do that. Or I never knew you was into that kind of situation. So you definitely must communicate with your partner in relationships. Um, takeaway number two, you got to spend some time together. I think spending time together is very important. And, you know, with these, with this couple, they both are famous. And I'm sure while they was out there, you know, making money and supporting their family, that a lot of time was not spent together. And, you know, sometimes when you are, when you're like not around, it's like out of sight, out of mind kind of thing. And then, you know, you, you go find something else to do and, you know, Maybe she was bored and, you know, maybe he, he didn't spend enough time with her and, you know, she found somebody close to home that, you know, could keep her company. So, um, and then the last takeaway, I would say it, um, your expectations need to be discussed. Like, you need to set some expectations. Like, what do, you know, what do I expect to happen in this, you know, in the relationship? What is your part? What is my part? 
Like, if we need to be having relations, you know, two to three times a week or however many times, that needs to be, you know, discussed and, and put out there so people know what their role is and that you don't get surprised by, you know, something happening and, you know, people do their own thing. So, <laughs> so I think those are the, the three key takeaways from this you know, exploring their relationship and, and seeing how it all played out. And I want to say as of about two years ago, you know, the husband is still going around doing damage control. So they did, he did admit or confirm, I should say, that they do have an open marriage. So, you know, I guess he didn't want to get caught up in that situation again. So he might as well just say, yeah, I give my wife permission to go out there and, and, and date other people while she married to me. So we don't have this problem again. And now we definitely could talk about, uh, there's, there's a lot to unpack in this whole, in their whole relationship. I mean, I'm sure, I would at least hope they are going through some, you know, um, like, couples counseling marriage therapy whatever because definitely some therapy need to be had with this situation so but we you know we wish them well like i said um the husband has confirmed they are still married marriage is still intact so you know i guess there's nothing really more to say about them and you know unless we hear one day that there's a divorce on the horizon but they're sticking it out and you know let's pray for them you know that they get they they get they get it right i guess okay so now to the final part the final part of this conversation is what would my ex say now i think he would have said um you know that he never knew the husband never knew who his wife was like he really didn't know, you know, she was that type of that that type of person. He probably really didn't discuss much. Um, you know, I guess they probably was going, you know, they were just going with the motions. He probably also would have said that he was never the man in the family. Like he was never the man in the relationship. She ran she runs that and you know, she tells him what to do and you know, that's just it. Like that's it. <laughs> and then finally, I think my ex would have said that he should have left. He should have, you know, filed for divorce, um, you know, after that situation, because it would have been, you know, too much to handle, you know, for somebody and then it'd be public. You know, that would that would, you know, cause some problems as well. And, uh, you know, now you're. Your colleagues are looking at you like, oh, my God, and, you know, what is this, what is that? So, you know, a lot of people, you know, in the industry, they, you know, their lives are on display. So that's, you know, unfortunately part of um, what they go through. But, again, we wish them the best. And on that note, <laughs> I will conclude the episode. So stick around for episode two. It's going to be coming at you soon where we will be discussing the next couple category. And I think you'll like this one because this one, this couple was, they're young. Yeah, you know, they, they from today's times and they, they had some foolish, some foolishness happening, uh, you know, in their relationship that that was, again, on display for everybody. So until next time, take care.